Connor Roush here with the Chieftains head coach, Brian Calatrulio. Brian, you've had an impressive uh, two weeks to start your postseason. Uh, what do you like coming into week 13 here? No, I just playing our best football at the, the right time of the year. You know, we played probably the best game we played all year last week, and we're going to need to do it again tonight. So Patrick Henry is coming in, obviously, with their second-string quarterback who presents a dual threat now. Um, how do you go about planning and yeah. attacking that no, tonight? It's different. we got to be able to contain him in the pocket and uh, not let him make plays when something breaks down. And uh, He's tough enough in the design runs, but we can't give him the scramble, the big plays, uh, converting third downs with his legs. So you know, we're going to have to keep him in the pocket, make him a passer, and, 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 and you know, get our good drops like we always do. So, Patrick Henry's defense has been shutting their teams out this year. How do you feel your offense is going to play against their defense? Yeah, we're going to have to execute. You know, we're going to have to block. I mean, that, that's going to be the big thing. You know, if our offensive line can hold its own uh, inside and, and give our skill guys a chance, then you know, I think we'll, we'll be able to put some points on them. Oh, do you have any other keys to the game for tonight? No, it's just, you know, we, we got to play our, our, you know, we got to play our best game and, you know, we, we got to finish drives like we've done all year. And uh, if we can get a turnover too, that, that would definitely help. All right, I appreciate it, Coach. Right, Stay you. Good luck. Connor Roush here with Heart of Ohio Sports with head coach Bill Inselman with Patrick Henry Patriots. Uh, coach, congratulations to making it to week 13. Um, can you explain to me what the season's been like and how the team is and with uh, your backup quarterback? Yeah, it's been kind of a, two different stories, to be honest with you. We were 6-0. and uh, We had uh, our career passing leader, Patrick Henry Meyer, then go down with an injury. Uh, and then we had to kind of regroup from there. We uh, had two tough losses. We played a tremendous Liberty Center team and an Archibald team, very lopsided losses. And then uh, Lincoln Krager stepped in, and he actually was our number two receiver at the time. So we kind of had to make changes because we'd lost our number two receiver and we'd lost our career passing uh, leader at that time. And uh, I think it took a little time for us coaches to try to adapt the offense to him. He's more of a dual threat, a running quarterback, whereas Nash was just a, a pure uh, drop back passer. Yeah. So we've improved every week, and uh, here we are. Can you uh, have you had any uh, improvements or advantages with having a dual threat QB when he came back and uh, you guys planned around him? Yeah, you know, I, I've always said I think it's very hard to defend a running quarterback, okay? Because uh, you can flank two receivers out, have a full backfield. You can go three receivers, and they got to spread out a little bit. So I think that uh, as we've used him and utilized him more in the running game, and here's a great answer to your question, we last week had two 100-yard rushers. So Houston Miranda and then Lincoln Crager, our quarterback now, and I think that's what we kind of kind of want to do, be able to have two kids who can run the ball and yet still throw the ball if we want to. So for Hopewell Loudon, they obviously pose threats to both rushing and the passing side of the ball. Uh, what do you guys have to do to stop them tonight? Well, I'll tell you what, they are minus a lot of Archibald. Just a very diverse offense. They will throw and run. That makes them difficult to defend. And then above all, we think this is the best screen game we've seen this year. So we've got to try to win the line of scrimmage and uh, eliminate the big play, but that's easier said than done against a team that's 12-0 and and then can run and throw the ball. What advantages do you think your kids can present that will make this Chieftains team struggle tonight? Well, I think that we have to use our size on the line. If uh, we don't win the line of scrimmage, I think it could be a long night for us. Do you have anything else for keys of the game tonight? I think, obviously, your turnovers are going to be key. We had two turnovers in the first half last week. It was a close game, and we took care of the ball in the second half, and we pulled away. So we want to take care of the football and see what happens. All right, I appreciate it. Good luck tonight, Coach. Thank you very much. Yep.
Good evening and welcome to our ex Mexican food pregame show here at Heart of Ohio Sports. I'm Donna Kelmstetter, joined by Zach Dillon up here behind the camera. And it is playoff week again here at Heart of Ohio. And we are following the Hopewell Loudon, the undefeated Hopewell Loudon Chieftains as they take on the 10-2 uh, Patrick Henry Patriots. All right, we've got one heck of a game coming at you here uh, from the comfortable confines of Bowling Green. Uh, that's right. Right, we're at the Bowling Green High School, uh, their stadium, and we are nestled into the crowd uh, right here on Chieftain, on the Chieftain side of it all. Uh, we're excited. You can see down there on the field, Chieftains are getting ready to roll. We're getting ready to roll here. We're about a minute away, and uh, it's just, hey, another week of playoff football here. Division 7, Region 26, and uh, it's going to be super exciting because, hey, Whoever wins this game right here, all right, they move on and they're going to play the winner of Lima Central Catholic and Macomb. So that should be a wonderful matchup. Of course, we had a chance to watch Lima Central Catholic last year. Really great football team. So whoever wins tonight, they're going to have their hands full. So let's focus on the Chieftains, the Patriots here, uh, as you can see. Uh, the Chieftains wearing those red jerseys down there on the field. Zach, we're moments away. What are your keys to tonight's game? Well, last week, the Chieftains played probably their best game of football all year. They were dominant on both sides of the ball, uh, and really the opposing team couldn't get anything done. So as they're set to kick off here, uh, they want to continue that for sure. Now, on the other side of the ball, Patrick Henry, uh, we'll talk about it, but their starting quarterback all year, and really the past four years, Nash Meyer, uh, this kid got hurt uh, earlier on this season, uh, leader in... I believe every statistical category uh, for a quarterback uh, can have. So their backup, Lincoln Krieger, a dual threat, if you heard in the interview. And so that's going to be things to look at tonight. They have to contain Krieger on that side of the ball. You're listening to our Lee's floor covering keys to the game. And it's kickoff time here from Bowling Green. Patrick Henry, they're going to get the ball first here in the second half, so key in on the Chieftains. Uh, see how they progress this first half. They'll get the first crack at it there in the second half of tonight's contest. Uh, so it's some exciting football here. And, uh, Zach, you were mentioning uh, the uh, Patriots, uh, their star quarterback, He's out, but uh, you wouldn't know it with the way the offense have been, has been chugging along here with number two, Lincoln Krieger. He's just kind of picked up dual threat. You gotta, you gotta watch them all over the place. And here we go, it's gonna be a handoff. And you're gonna have Miranda buried behind the line, nowhere to go. Great start by the Chieftain defense. Yeah, absolutely great start. Good penetration from the defensive line up front. Now the look from uh, the Patriot offense, they have two backs in the backfield with the quarterback. Uh, you're going to see that's that option look. It's kind of like Navy football, right? You can you can run it one way, you can run it the other way. Uh, six, seven, eight different plays, yeah. right, out of the same kind of formation. Uh, we'll see that tonight. Yeah, we saw Lincoln Krieger, number two there on your screen, uh, running it a lot during pregame. So we'll see what they do as he rolls out to his left, unable to connect with Landon Johnson, the intended receiver. Just a bad ball there. Played well by the cornerback on the outside. That was Braylon Martinez, who uh, last week we saw a whole bunch of, and we're going to see more tonight. Uh, player of the game last week, player of the game in week 10 against Calvert. Uh, he's one heck of a football player. I, I just Let's put it that way. Absolutely, and really that's the Hopewell Loudon offense. It, it surrounds Martinez. All right, uh, we're looking at third and 10 here as Krieger. Looking to pass it, he's got his man, this time connecting with Landon Johnson. And he's being wrestled to the ground, but that should be enough for a first down for the Patriots. Yeah, we'll take a look at this. Good ball over the middle, confident, slinging it well. Strong pass there from Krieger. First down for Patrick Henry as they're approaching midfield. Look at that. Threaded the ball right over Adam Kreese. Keeps this drive alive. You got it. First and 10. Handing it off to Johnson. 
Landon Johnson powering his way forward, taken down around the 44-yard line. Johnson's Not Johnson been a, and Miranda. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Miranda uh, with the carry there. He has been a constant on this team all year. Uh, Krieger, the quarterback, again, started out as the number one wide receiver on this team. And so that shift down to quarterback, yeah. again, he's able to rely on the run game, and, and wonder, Miranda's helping him do it. I wonder if they're going to do a few uh, flea flickers and pitch it back to him. Huh? It'd be fun to watch. All right, here we go. Second and short. Krieger all the way. Quarterback keeper hit right at the line of scrimmage and pushed backwards. Let's see where the spot is. Looks like it might just be short of the first down marker. Chieftain defense coming up with another big stop. Third and short for the Patriots. Yeah, I think it's Kubitz who gets in first here right on the inside, and that is blown up Oof, at the great sticks. Hit. They just stood him up right where he was, and after that he had nowhere to go but backwards. So it's third and one from the 43-yard line here for the Patriots. Krieger, quarterback keeper again. He's got it this time and a little bit more. He's going to be drugged down around the 34-yard line. First down, Patriots. Yeah, the breakdown of communication on the Chieftain defense. There was a wide receiver all alone to the top of the screen. The defense was trying to figure out where exactly they needed to be in that placement. And right up the gut, Krieger was able to take it for the first down. This is what you're talking about, Zach. Dual threat quarterback here. It can create a lot of problems in a couple of different ways. And uh, you saw one of those problems right there. Man can run it. So first and 10 from the 34-yard line, down to eight and a half minutes here in the first quarter from Bowling Green. Krieger, pump fake, runs it. First down and a little bit more. Lincoln Krieger, 6'3", 180-pound junior. Getting some work done, second consecutive first down run. We've seen this RPO look a couple times. He can tuck it and run, or he can pass that bubble screen out to the right side. And again, getting him moving. Got a lot of space out there. So Patrick Henry doing a great job spreading out this Chieftain defense. Chieftain defense, they've done a pretty good job throughout the year, but uh, they've got a tough test here in front of them. As you see, Miranda right up the middle there. Strong gain on first down. Things getting a little chippy early on. Avery Wright. Noah Kubitz getting into it. And this is playoff football. This is what it's all about. That's win or go home. And uh, you're getting a little bit further. Week three of uh, OHSAA playoff action here. Uh, there's only a couple more weeks ahead. So uh, got to leave it all out there on the field. Here we go. Second and five from the 17-yard line. Patrick Henry there driving. Krieger, quarterback keeper, off to the left side. And he's going to be drugged down by the Chieftains. Looks like it was Noah Kubitz with the tackle. Yeah, Kubitz has been busy tonight. Probably going to hear his name quite a bit there on defense. But uh, that's second-level tackling. Uh, Chieftain defensive line, they're going to need to get a little bit more push, put a little bit more pressure on Krieger. Otherwise, he's going to continue to pick up chunk yardage wherever he wants. Third and short here. Patrick Henry, they got him spread out. Two to the right. And it doesn't matter because Krieger's just going to go right up the middle. And I think he's got another first down, Zach, as they uh, push that pile a little bit further inside the five. Yep, first down, Patriots. First and goal, quarterback run all the way. And when you have a runner like Lincoln Krieger, he, you know, he puts his head down. He's a tall, uh, a tall guy, hard runner. Athletic. Athletic. Yep. Puts a lot of stress on a defense there. Absolutely. All right, first and goal from the five-yard line for the Patriots. 
Looked good so far. And there it is. Touchdown, Houston Miranda. Patriots score first tonight. And Miranda, this just running behind his offensive line. Yep. They're pushing people out of the way. You see our pulse therapy red zone replay right here is Miranda. He's going to take that handoff, power his way into the end zone, and put up six points. Boom, just like that. Still standing when he got there. Touchdown Patriots. Uh, no kicking game. They're going to go for, for two here. Uh, I was watching them in pregame. Krieger takes it off to the right side, bounces out. He's got some pressure. He's pushed out. I don't think he got it. Nope. Krieger unable to get in. So our scoreboard update here. Six to zero. Patrick Henry has the first points of the night over Hopewell Loudon. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc. is here for all of your printing and design needs. From reunions to small events, to business apparel and even vehicle lettering, they've got you covered. They make the gear that you make your memories in. Steinmetz Signs and Graphic Inc. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Federal Credit Union, your premier financial institution in Seneca County since 1952. Your community, your legacy, federally insured NCUA. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports, the pulse of the Buckeye State. It's time for high school football on Heart of Ohio Sports. Welcome back to Bowling Green, uh, where Patrick Henry has a 6-0 lead over Hopewell Loudon. Let's go down to the field and a uh, quick update from Connor. The Klaus Electric weather report for tonight is currently 46 here, and it will get Ooh. down to 42, then 40 at 10 o'clock. And Patrick Henry just picked up a botched kickoff return by Hopewell Loudon. Oh, my. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Look absolute special teams disaster there. Can't have that happen. Now you're in enemy territory. The defense here for the Chieftains is going to have to pick up a stop. Uh, yeah, not a great start. And as you heard from Connor, it's 46 degrees, a little chilly there, but uh, really no excuse to, to drop that one. And uh, th th it puts your defense in a tough spot they're just out there on the field for six minutes and you got uh houston miranda stopped at the line of course miranda he punched in the touchdown uh, moments ago now i'm glad you mentioned it dom the defense just out on the field for six minutes uh it's high school a lot of these kids play both ways but again with the defense you know it wears them out and uh i'm thinking of a guy like uh, martinez the star running back there for the Chieftains, uh, putting all his energy out there on the field here on defense. We haven't even had a chance to look at him on offense yet, and that's where he's probably most lethal. Passes up. Krieger's got a man. Oh, just not able to bring it in. It looked like Thomas Smith, the intended receiver, just not able to adjust and bring it in. He had a step, though. He did have a step, absolutely. That ball not poorly placed, a little bit behind the receiver, but again, a lot of these guys will tell you, if it hits their hands, they got to bring it in. Yep. Uh, my high school coach always says, if you can touch it, you got to catch it. Uh, and uh, that's one of those situations, playoff football, you got to elevate and bring it in. So Patrick Henry, uh, six-yard touchdown run and uh, get a muffed kickoff uh, here and um, they're shooting for the end zone right away. So timeout on the field uh, for Patrick Henry uh, and we'd like to thank your legacy Federal Credit Union here for our uh, timeout update. Uh, Connor, uh, let's uh, let's go down to you. Uh, what, uh, what are you hearing? What are you seeing? What are your thoughts so far here, Connor? 
so far they are struggling to stop Patrick Henry's QB. He seems to be running about anywhere he needs to right now. So Hopo needs to just calm down and cover the gaps to stop him. There you have it. Kind of Roush, uh, usually uh, working the cameras for us. Uh, now he's uh, helping us out there on the sideline. Great work, Connor. Of course, we got Zachy B over here on uh, on the camera for us tonight. Uh, <laughs> so we've got uh, Zach Dillon. Of course, I get a chill with Zach Dillon. Chill oh, I'm, with Dillon. I'm glad we're bringing that back. Yeah, <laughs> Zach Dillon uh, here with you. Zach Blythe <laughs> on the camera. We've got a full crew tonight for high school playoffs. Uh, so let's see. Uh, third and ten, Krieger slings it. Got his man, connects right at the uh, first down marker, still fighting, and he, he dives wow. forward. Wow, look at that. Landon Johnson splits two defenders, dives forward. I think he got it. Yeah, great individual effort here on the outside. Again, that ball, the wide receiver has to wait for it just a tad, but mm, Johnson. Second effort. Second effort got the first down on that one. As you saw right at the end of that replay, he just split the two defenders first down Patriots up to the 28 yard line here looking to make this a two score lead and we're still in the first quarter all right there you go Miranda stopped at the line and great team tackling there by the Chieftains Adam Prius made the tackle second down Plays like that just moralize a defense, or they can easily. Uh, you're you're making some stops early on. You give up that third and long, especially when you have them stopped yeah. short of the sticks, and you have that second effort reach. Mm. So it's time to buckle down and make a stand here inside. Well, inside the thirty, almost to the twenty-five. Right around the four-minute marker here in the first quarter, six-zero, Patriots over the Chieftains. Crease or Krieger. Hits the crease, first down and more. <laughs> Just like that, first and goal for the Patriots. Keep in mind, this guy is a wide receiver at heart. He knows what to do with the ball in his hands. He runs well, has good vision. Yeah, look at that. Just the Chieftain defense parted like the Red Sea and allowed Lincoln Krieger to stroll right on through. First and goal from the nine-yard line for the Patriots. They're threatening to put up another touchdown, and they give it to number 21, Houston Miranda. Houston Miranda takes He's already got one rushing line. touchdown on the evening, trying to make it a second. Strong gain there on the first down rush. Credit to this offensive line. Doing a great job moving defenders off of spots. Miranda just able to kind of ride them like a wave. Crossed inside the five-yard line. They got a couple of big boys there on uh, O-line. Uh, they got 286 pounds, 265 pounds, 277 pounds. There's Garrett there's some, Rowe, left tackle, 298. There's some beef down there, so uh, they're putting it to use and uh, working this Chieftain defense as Miranda takes it again inside the five. Actually, it's quarterback keeper, number two, Lincoln Krieger. So that'll bring up third and goal from the three-yard line for the for the Patriots. Of course, uh, their PAT attempt after that first touchdown, they kept the offense out there, went for two, and I was watching them in warm-ups, and uh, they've got one of their linemen who's their primary kicker, so I'm not sure they're interested in doing a lot of kicking, Zach. Can't have a big boy as a kicker? I, I, they, they can do some work, but uh, playoffs... Krieger taken down from behind, stopped. There you have it. Number nine, Thomas Daniel with a huge stop. Or was it? It was White it was Crow. 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 We'll take a look there at this. Crow coming off the edge. Great stop by the Chieftain defense. Check this out. Krieger trying to bounce it out and. He plays it well. He plays it perfectly. I'm talking about Wyatt Crow. Uh, he gets down the line. He sees the runs going the outside, opposite way. He gets horizontal very quickly, and is able to uh, to display that athleticism. Fourth and goal from the five yard line. Timeout. 
Patrick Henry, second timeout of this first quarter. Uh, and um, whew, this Patrick Henry offense, uh, it got to be scaring Coach Calatrulio. Oh, absolutely. They've been running the ball really effectively, as we've seen. When they do pass, they're getting the quarterback moving, bootlegging him left or right, giving the option to run while he's out of the pocket. So, again, at the high school level, it is so effective getting your ball to the athletes in space and making them uh, or allowing them to make athletic plays. And uh, they're doing a really effective job of that tonight. Uh, this is going to be a huge fourth down for the Chieftain defense. Uh, what you do not want to do is go two scores down in the first quarter of your playoff game. Makes it that much more difficult for your offense, who, guess what? They haven't even been on the field yet tonight in this football game. So we're through. we got about 90 seconds left in this first quarter, and the Chieftain offense has not even taken one snap tonight. Of course, Patriots got the ball first, marched down the field. Miranda punched it in. Uh, and then immediately kicked it. It bounced off a Chieftain. Patrick Henry picked it up, and here we are again, fourth and five from the five-yard line. Miranda flips it, and it's Landon Johnson who throws it. Touchdown, Patriots. Landon Johnson Landon tosses Johnson it to Lincoln Krieger after a quick little flip, and uh, Patrick Henry has a two-score lead. Well, Dom, you mentioned it uh, at the beginning of the drive. You said, hey, maybe, who knows, we'll see some trickeration, some passes out there from the wide receiver position, or catches, rather. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah uh, it is. Touchdown, Patrick Henry. Yeah, the timeout worked in their favor, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And, uh, I mean, I guess... You can't take them into halftime, but we still have the second quarter to play, <laughs> and it's 12-0. Uh, to Two-point conversion is good. Thomas Smith reels it in. 14-0. Patrick Henry has a two-score lead over a Hopewell outing. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Serving local employers and businesses for over 30 years, Pyramid Recruiting Offices has been operating out of that familiar A-frame building located at 373 North Washington Street since 1988. Call Pyramid Recruiting today at 419-447-0455. Pyramid Recruiting Offices, Tiffin's only locally owned and operated job placement service. Buckeye IT Services is a trusted partner for cybersecurity, fully managed, and co-managed IT support. Municipalities, financial organizations, and mature businesses turn to them to eliminate IT stress and enable growth. Visit BuckeyeIT.com today to start your partnership. I'm Zach Dillon, and you're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Uh, welcome back to Bowling Green as uh, the Hopewell Loudon Chieftains find themselves with a 14-0 deficit is it's been all Patrick Henry so far in the first quarter of play. And a low squib kick picked up and returned by the Chieftains. And we're going to get our first opportunity of the night to see the Hopewell out in offense, which is an odd thing to say with one minute left in the first quarter. Exactly. Braden Brickman on the return there had one muffed off of him for a turnover that gave Patrick Henry position right inside the 40-yard line. So good redemption there. Want to make sure we thank Bench Warmers, Restaurant, and Delivery for keeping us connected with kickoff coverage. All right, first and 10 from the 39-yard line. And Martinez gets first crack, fumbled it. Looks like he picked it up, so it'll be second and eight for the Chieftains. Yeah, Martinez is able to get on that one. I don't know if he ever really lost all of the control, but Martinez is the guy last week, the week before that, and every week before that uh, for this offense. Again, he is an effective ball carrier. He has great vision, and he's just able to keep his legs moving really effectively. And he's a standout star in the defense as well, as we found out. So Braylon Martinez, a man to watch. The junior tailback, and he takes a, another handoff here. Very patient runner, as you can see. 
tries to work his way through the Patrick Henry defense, and he's going to be taken down. Yeah, take a look at it here. He was dead to rights twice in the backfield, trying to follow that pulling guard. One, two, three. He's able to make something out of what should have been a loss. All right, it's going to be third and four from the 45-yard line for the Chieftains. Time to knock off some rust and get things going as the hard count may have drawn a Patriot defender, but I think it's going to be timeout down on, oh, there we go. It's not timeout, it's the uh, end of the first quarter. So from Bowling Green, Patriots 14, Chieftains zero. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Why go to Lee's Floor Covering in Tiffin? Because at Lee's Floor Covering, they know that selecting the right flooring for your home can be overwhelming. They make choosing the right items for your home simple. At Lee's Floor Covering, they have one of the largest selections of floor covering in Northwest Ohio, including Abbey Carpet and Floor. Stop in and see for yourself what everyone raves about at Lee's Floor Covering in Tiffin. Small business owners need somebody that can open the door to financing. And at First National Bank of Sycamore, we love opening the door for financing opportunities. Keep it locked in. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Welcome back. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Dominic Helmstetter, Zach Dillon here on the call from Bowling Green. The Hopewell out in Chieftains, they've got the ball right now, and they've got a 14-0 deficit that they've got to make up for as we enter the second quarter of play. Here you go. And you've got Crease hitting it right up the middle. First down and more. Number 10, Evan Crease. There you go. First down, Chieftains. Crease has great pocket awareness, puts it on display here, steps up, looking downfield, nothing there. He's able to get out of there. And so right now we're seeing a battle of the QBs as Evan Kreese now getting his opportunity to put on a show for us. Great start right there as he picks up a huge first down for the Chieftains. Martinez gets a carry, works his way forward. Great gain on first down for Braylon Martinez. Good to see the Chieftains moving the ball effectively here. Yeah, they're starting to get warmed up here, Zach. Uh, great, great offense. Uh, they can put up points in bunches. And uh, we've seen that so far here in the playoffs as they've just dominated the competition. Martinez again, the ball carrier. Short loss on the play. Brings up third down. Nowhere to go for Martinez on that one. That'll to bring up third and six from the 40-yard line for the Chieftains. Now this is a position they've relied on barrier here on the outside all year. Eager to see how they do this one. Not to mention Adam Kreese, uh, who usually uh, has got a cast on his hand, so he's usually featured. Not sure how much we're going to see him. Martinez gets the handoff, stuffed at the line. Fourth down. I'm curious, does Coach Calatrulio keep the offense out there and uh, go for it? We'll see, they're making one substitution. It <laughs> appears to be, again. Braden Brickman going in. Third and medium, a passing down for yeah. sure. They tried to catch him off guard and run Martinez right up the gut, but they, this defensive uh, line for Patrick Henry not having it. They've done the hard count before, right before uh, the end of the first quarter. they trying to get the Patriots offside. Maybe that's the play. Anyways, Crease slinging it. He's got a man open. He catches it. He's got it. First down, Chieftains. I didn't see who it was. Braylon was that? Martinez. It was Braylon Martinez. Martinez. They go back to him, the running back. Martinez with a heck of a catch to pick up an important first down for the Chieftains. Look at that. Laying out. Yeah, great diving effort there from the star running back. Can't run it, he's gonna catch it. First and 10 from the 28. Fake to Martinez, slings it to Barrier. And Barrier's gonna be taken down, short gain. Yeah, this play on defense, 
Really made possible by Jaden Punch's outside linebacker. You'll see him flying in here at the end. He reads that screen perfect. He's able to get a hand and slow down Barrier, who runs right into the rest of that Patrick Henry defense. Yeah, that defense was waiting for him. Uh, not, not a whole lot of space to run. So second and nine for Hopewell Loudon. They hope to keep this drive alive. They've done a good job so far here, converting in all the important uh, moments. Crease rolling to his right, got some time, slings it. Oh, nearly picked off by Patrick Henry. It was number one Thomas Smith that got his hands on it. And uh, Wyman just not able to even have a chance. Yeah, this ball thrown right at the line of scrimmage on the run. Remember, any part of that quarterback's body mm. behind that line, that pass is legal. Another third down for the Chieftains. And a diving catch by Braylon Martinez helped them convert last time on the third down. Let's see if they can convert a second consecutive third down to continue to pressure Patrick Henry. Crease, rolling, throwing. Same play as before, Martinez, same result. First down, Chieftains. Another great ball from the quarterback, Crease. And this is the exact play that worked for him on the previous third down, and why it is, not go back to it? Right here, a tighter window. That's great coverage yeah. on the outside. Yeah, does By not matter. By the defensive matter. back. Martinez able to bring it in. First down, Chieftains. They're now up to the 13-yard line, and they're getting close. A defensive back, by the way, Krieger, the quarterback. Mm, there you go. Martinez dancing around, punches it inside. Going to be taken down around the nine-yard line. See, this is what I'm talking about when I say a running back runs with vision. He, he's looking at the holes. He's seeing where the offensive line is, and he knows he has that cutback lane option open to him. So again, he's yeah. able to make nothing into a positive gain. There you go, second and six after the uh, gain by Martinez. Got something out of nothing. Gonna hand it off, Martinez right up the middle. Taken down, right around the seven yard line. Getting a little bit closer. And it'll bring up third down for the Chieftains. Looked to me like he slipped there. Third down and four. Now the last two third down conversions have been, yeah, check this out. Yeah, I think he might have been right. He, right as he was getting hit, he lost his feet. The last two uh, third down conversions for the Chieftains, it's been a throwing play. So they've passed it to Martinez. So keep an eye on Martinez as he is in the backfield with Crease. But then you've got two wideouts to the uh, left of your TV screen. Timeout on the field, and Calatrulio wants to talk about it. Uh, let's go down to Connor here, and uh, Connor, uh, what are you seeing on the sideline as we uh, take a look at our timeout? Well, Hopo is having a good drive down here, and they're going to have to score here to keep this game close. Your Legacy Federal Credit Union timeout update. Connor Roush on the call. Phenomenal analysis. <laughs> so we're right, <laughs> we're right around the six minute, 48 second marker here in the first half of play. And uh, Patriots have a 14 to zero lead. Now one of the cool, unique things about the stadium here in uh, Bowling Green High School is there's an airport about a mile north of where we're at and you can see uh you can see the airplanes taking off of course they take off by the airstrip that's right next to bowling green state university doesn't this remind you of when we were in columbus uh, absolutely, oh, absolutely it does yeah. that was my first thought i mean these are a little bit smaller uh airplanes <laughs> they may have got those jumbo jets like they did in columbus but uh, still kind of cool all right crease pump fakes he's got pressure throws it again touchdown there wow you have it Touchdown, Chieftains. It's going to be Matthew Wyman with the score. Now take a look at this ball from Crease. He's throwing this with a, a hand on the defender in the backfield, going the opposite way. Oh, my goodness. What an effort. 
And again, he threads the needle that was uh, right over the head of Houston Miranda. And again, this is playoff football. Yeah, and the Chieftains, they've had three consecutive passing plays on big downs. Every single one of them has kind of been that down and out on the right side of the field. PAT is up, and it is good. Hopewell Loudon has reduced it 14 to 7, but the Patriots are going to get the ball back. I'm Zach Dillon, and you're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Serving local employers and businesses for over 30 years. Pyramid Recruiting Offices has been operating out of that familiar A-frame building located at 373 North Washington Street since 1988. Call Pyramid Recruiting today at 419-447-0455. Pyramid Recruiting Offices, Tiffin's only locally owned and operated job placement service. UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency, providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your homegrown agent, Sam Shelt Palm, for a professional review today at 419-447-4242, extension 1132. Buckeye IT Services is a trusted partner for cybersecurity, fully managed, and co-managed IT support. Municipalities, financial organizations, and mature businesses turn to them to eliminate IT stress and enable growth. Visit BuckeyeIT.com today to start your partnership. It's time for high school football on Heart of Ohio Sports. All right, welcome back to Heart of Ohio Sports. And uh, you see Patrick Henry muffing that kickoff. And they're going to be taken down. Of course, we're coming back after the Chieftains punched in a huge score. And it was Matthew Wyman who got the touchdown catch. And they're making this a, uh, a sporting game here as it's 14 to 7. Patrick Henry with the lead right now. And. Uh, Patriots offense back out on the field, and uh, Zach, so far, first quarter of play, they were downright deadly. They ate up almost the entire quarter with two drives, and that's where their 14 points came from. Of course, their scores uh, coming from Houston Miranda, punched it in for the first one, and then a little trickeration. Lincoln Krieger ultimately got the catch this time throwing it and connecting with Landon Johnson. But Krieger got the catch for their second score. And Patrick Henry, offense picking up right where they left off, just getting what they want. Yeah, Adam Kreese, defensive lineman, kind of caught in no man's land. This ball going right over his head. We'll see here slant coming off the back side of this RPO. Good play call. Mm. Now, Zach, you mentioned that uh, Krieger, uh, he's only had a couple of weeks uh, as the starting quarterback, and uh, something that you heard from the coaches down on the field as you see the Chieftain defense with a huge hit on Miranda, but something that you heard down on the field is that Krieger just, he seems to get better every week that he's behind center. Yeah, during Connor's interview, we were talking with the head coach of the Patriots, Bill Inselman, um, and that's exactly what he said again. Nash Meyer was the quarterback before he, again, the best in perhaps Patrick Henry history. He, he's leading in, in all these statistical categories. Krieger fills in, and uh, like you said, he's getting more comfortable in this offense. Krieger looking to sling it, and he's got his man. I think he held on to it. Yes. Yes, he did. Number eight, Lane Jackson with a catch. Well, he's getting more comfortable in this offense, and I think the Patrick Henry coaching staff is getting more comfortable calling his kind of offense. This this high tempo, run the ball from the quarterback position. See here, can't really see if he held on to it. A lot of RPOs. Lots of RPO, lots of bootlegs left and right. And it's working out well. First and 10, Patrick Henry at the 39 yard line. Looking to put up another score. Keep in mind, Patrick Henry gets the ball back first in the second half. As you see, Krieger drug down at the line of scrimmage. So uh, if Patrick Henry continues to churn out yards, we've got our first penalty of the evening. They continue to churn out yards and wind down the clock, which is under five minutes now. They could put a score up here, get it back, and have a chance to widen their lead.
penalty is on the Chieftains. Saying it's face masks, that's a big one, 15 yards. First penalty of the evening here, and it's a 15-yard face mask penalty on the Chieftains. Not what you want to see. And uh, Chieftains defense, they've they've struggled a bit tonight against uh, Patrick Henry. Yeah, not what you want to see, especially on, on a loss where you on a play where you have the quarterback stopped at the line of scrimmage or for a loss when he's scrambling outside. He's been so deadly. So the one time you kind of make that stop, it hurts you. Krieger right up the middle, short gain, second down for the Patriots. You know, Krieger, I've, I've been so impressed. Uh, he doesn't just run it on the outside and look for wide open space. He's willing to put his shoulder down and run it right up the gut and take the dirty yards when he can get them. So a nice and cool evening here from Bowling Green, right around 45 degrees. Of course, they've got to set up out here, outside in the stands. We're parked right in the heart of Chieftain country. You see Krieger being corralled by the Chieftain defense there. Much to the delight of the Chieftain faithful. A good stop here. It feels good when you're able to contain a scrambling quarterback, you know, especially from being hurt so many times. And they're playing it well. They're playing his front shoulder. They're playing team defense, so there's no way to cut back on you. Let's go, D! All right, it's going to be third and seven from the 21-yard line. And I imagine Patrick Henry, four down territory. They've got a seven-point lead right now. They have not kicked a PAT at all tonight. They've gone for two twice. And they've got a 50% conversion rate. Timeout, Patrick Henry, their third timeout of the half. So they'll be done with their timeouts. As uh, let's go down. Hey, Connor, um, what are you what are you thinking? Uh, what are they talking about over here on Chieftain's side uh, as uh, they prepare for this big third down? I would say that you have to watch for the QB to be running because he's been scrambling pretty good so far. So as long as they can contain him, then they should be good. Dynamite drop in there. Connor Roush. Of course, uh, your Legacy Federal Credit Union, our timeout sponsor here, uh, Patrick Henry. They've burned all three timeouts. Uh, and uh, the Chieftains, they still have a couple to use. But uh, we're down to the three-minute, 14-second marker here in the first half of play. Make sure you stay tuned, though. We've got our Buckeye IT halftime show coming up in minutes. We'll make sure that we feature both of the uh, marching bands. We'll uh, take a take a step back, recap tonight's action, and try to look around a little bit at some of the other playoff action here in the heart of Ohio sports. All right, third and seven. And they've got them spread out. Krieger steps, scrambles to his left. He's got some space. He cuts it back up. He's going to be stopped short of the first down marker. So it'll be fourth down, but he still gained a few yards. Yeah, he gained a few yards there. Wyatt Crow, again, coming off the pass rush, had him dead to rights in the backfield, but kind of stumbled as he got through that line of scrimmage. Right here, you see he's right there. Head down, couldn't see the quarterback, Krieger, making his way up to his left. And it was Noah Kubitz who was able to redirect Krieger, force him back inside toward the rest of the Chieftain defense. Great stop for the Chieftains, fourth and four. And you see uh, the Chieftain fans getting up on their on their feet. They sling it, they connect. Is it enough? That's the question. Landon Johnson and Connor's nodding his head yes. First down, Patrick Henry. Another first down for the Patriots. Yeah, it was enough by about five yards. It sets him up for not quite first and goal. 11 to go. Connor Roush down there right by the line of scrimmage. Uh, Connor, uh, what did you see on that first down? Hopo was in a zone coverage there and just had an open guy there. Soft spot, nailed it. 
First and 10 from the 11. And it's going to be Miranda powers his way forward. And we've seen this from the Patriots when they get into the red zone. Uh, our pulse therapy red zone uh, uh, re recap here. Uh, when the Patriots get into the red zone, they often give it to Houston Miranda, and he's their he's their hammer. He got a touchdown on the first drive and uh, got some critical yards on the second drive. So not surprised to see him uh, get the ball again. Second and seven for the Patriots. Of course, uh, if they get up to the one yard line, they'll get another set of <laughs> they'll get a fresh set of downs as Krieger. Works his way inside the five. And I'm not sure if the ball was fumbled. The He's officials are the saying it was caused by the ground. So Time dead well ball. Timeout Hopewell Time Loudon. As we're at the one minute marker here. So it's going to be third in about three for Patrick Henry. And it looks like we have a player down on the field. It yeah, might have been QB. it might have been the QB. Uh, Connor, what did you see? Uh, what do you see right Eight. now? He took a really aggressive hit going down there, so. Krieger taking the hit, yeah, still down on the field. Yeah, Lincoln Krieger again. This is the, the second string quarterback. I believe the backup would be freshman Reed Krieger. Uh, so we'll, we'll step aside here. Don't go anywhere, you're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Why go to Lee's Floor Covering in Tiffin? Because at Lee's Floor Covering, they know that selecting the right flooring for your home can be overwhelming. They make choosing the right items for your home simple. At Lee's Floor Covering, they have one of the largest selections of floor covering in Northwest Ohio, including Abbey Carpet and Floor. Stop in and see for yourself what everyone raves about at Lee's Floor Covering in Tiffin. Small business owners need somebody that can open the door to financing. At First National Bank of Sycamore, we love opening the door for financing opportunities. Keep it locked in. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports here. So we have an injury down on the field, uh, and you can see uh, airplanes flying ab up above here uh, from Bowling Green. Uh, so let's go back down to Connor, uh, and uh, we've got the replay running here, Connor. Uh, kind of describe what it is that you saw from, uh, from the field as we see Krieger walking off the field. I just think the biggest thing was uh, wind knocked out of him. Okay. Again, don't want to speculate, but yeah, yeah you see kind of twisted to the ground. So Lincoln Krieger, uh, he was the injured player on the field. Hopefully, uh, he's good to go as he walked off the field under his own power. Uh, and uh, they're continuing to check on him on the sideline there. Now, Connor, uh, last week we saw uh, a team lose their star player, right? Yes, we did. And, and again, that's, that's and that, part of the That contributed <laughs> pretty big to them. It, it hurt. All right, so uh, it looks like it might be... Number three, Reed Krieger. He's now in at quarterback, the freshman quarterback. I would not be surprised if uh, you get a heavy dose of Houston Miranda here. And that's exactly it. Miranda, the ball carrier, stopped. And that's going to bring up fourth. Timeout on the field, Calatrulio trying to save as much of that clock as possible. We got 50 seconds here left in the first half, fourth and three for the Patriots. So Coach Calatrulio, you know, trying to save a little time, get the ball back, hopefully. Uh, remember, Patrick Henry, they're going to get the ball first in the second half. So Coach Cal, he uh, maybe wants to try to dial something up here before the end of the first half uh, and uh, try to see if they can make this uh, a sporting event. But yeah, uh, last week, just getting back to that, it was the Pandora Gilboa Rockets uh, and, and senior quarterback uh, Aiden Morris. I was, I was just pulling that back up, make sure I got the name right. Uh, but again, the Rockets, they lost the star player going into halftime just about, and uh, they weren't able to make any kind of comeback against this Chieftain squad. So again, losing 
uh, a player to an important position. Yep. Never want to happen. And for, never uh, want to happen in the playoffs. But again, if anybody can do it, this Patriots squad made it happen with their backup quarterback and and finishing out the year strong. Yep. So freshman uh, Reed Krieger, uh, kind of uh, taking the reins here for a moment, and it's uh, fourth and three from the four-yard line for the Patriots. They handed the ball off to Miranda on that last one. It looks like uh, Lincoln Krieger is back in the game. Great news as he rolls to the right. Lincoln Krieger tosses it, intercepted. Chieftains intercepted it in the end zone. There you have it. There's the defensive play that you need. And it looks like it comes from Wade Crease. Absolutely huge stop in the red zone. Take a look here at the D-line, forcing that throw to be made. Big turnover. So now you got 42 seconds left on the clock, trying to get downfield, two minute drill. Again, no timeouts is gonna be difficult. You gotta utilize those sidelines. Remember, high school football, the clock stops at the first down, so you're playing hurry up offense. Or maybe you just kneel the ball. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna kneel it. Yep, that's exactly it. Coach Cal not willing to sacrifice any sort of a mistake. And uh, we're probably gonna roll into halftime with a 14 to seven score, Patrick Henry with a one score lead over the Chieftains. Stay tuned for the Buckeye IT halftime show, which is moments away, where we'll feature Connor Roush. And uh, we're gonna go down onto the field as he's gonna try to catch Coach Cal real quick before he goes into the locker room. Okay, Coach, so what are you seeing here that you gotta yeah, fix we, on we defense? We survived, we hung on. You know? Gave up the onside kick, gave him two possessions. Uh, we got to get outfield on third down. Two third in those first two drives uh, got to really hurt us. We got to do a better job on third down on defense. And obviously, offensively, we have one drive, we scored a touchdown. So, you know, we're going to hope to get back after here in the second half. All right, thank you, Coach. Uh, there you hear it. Coach Calatrulio for Hope Loudon. Uh, they've got to do a better job on third down from the defensive side of it. And he seems to be pretty pleased with the offense as their one real offensive drive turned into some points. So great job, kind of Roush down there on the field. Halftime here from uh, Bowling Green. We're going to take a short break. We'll come back, check out the, the band, and review a little uh, playoff action here. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your local homegrown agent, Jeff Leopold, for a professional review today at 419-447-4242, extension 1144. We connect fans to the action like no one else can. As a business in today's market, you got to stay ahead of the game. And what better way than to get on board with the fastest growing brand in media today? I mean, you can take it from me, or you can just listen to them. When recruiters want to see our game film, we tell them they can watch on Heart of Ohio Sports. Keep it locked in. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. You're watching our Buckeye IT halftime show here from Bowling Green, Ohio. Patrick Henry has a 14-7 lead over Hopewell Loudon Chieftains. We move down onto the field and watch the Patrick Henry marching band.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Hopewell Loudon Chieftain Marching Band to the field. 
Tonight, our show will feature some of the band's favorite selections from this year. We will open our show with a highly energetic piece from our solar, solar eclipse show. Let's set the stadium on fire with Fireball by Pitbull. That's AI for you.
to thank the Hopewell Loudoun community for their continued support of the Chieftain Marching Band Program. You're watching the Buckeye IT halftime show here from Bowling Green, where the uh, Patrick Henry Patriots have a 14 to seven lead over the Hopewell Loudon Chieftains. We will be back. And uh, in a moment here at halftime, uh, the Chieftains will get the football first here in the second half. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Don't go anywhere, you're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your local homegrown agent, Jeff Leopold, for a professional review today at 419-447-4242, extension 1144. We connect fans to the action like no one else can. As a business in today's market, you gotta stay ahead of the game. And what better way than to get on board with the fastest growing brand in media today? I mean, you can take it from me, or you can just listen to them. When recruiters want to see our game film, we tell them they can watch it on Heart of Ohio Sports. Keep it locked in. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Uh, you're watching playoff football here at Heart of Ohio Sports. Dominic Helmstetter joined by Zach Dillon. It is halftime from Bowling Green, Ohio, where Patrick Henry, they've got a 14-7 lead over Hopewell Loudon. And uh, we're going to have an opportunity to see the uh, drum team uh, for the uh, Chieftains, uh, the drum line there, uh, playing something for the uh, fans here. We're going to have a chance to see the Hopewell Loudon Chieftain uh, offense for only the second time tonight here uh, as uh, third quarter gets ready to kick off here shortly. Yeah, Dom, uh, again, they had one touchdown drive in the first half. They obviously executed well, uh, again, thanks to that, that muffed uh, kickoff return after the end of the first Patrick Henry drive. And so... The Chieftains are going to have to come out of this halftime break and capitalize absolutely. All right, so let's do a quick recap of action tonight. First quarter was all Patrick Henry as Patrick Henry got the kickoff, marched down the field, burned most of the clock, punched it in for a touchdown, 6-0, to zero, and then immediately preceding the kickoff, it bounced off the Hopewell return team. Patrick Henry picked it up. They put in a second touchdown. Shortly after that, two-point conversion, good. 14 to zero after the first quarter. Then finally, Hopewell Loudon got their opportunity on offense as Hopewell Loudon got the ball, drove down the field, punched it in with a five-yard TD reception by Wyman. Closed that gap, 14 to seven. That's where your score comes from. So uh, I think uh, Connors, he's uh, trying to get uh, a, uh, an interview with the Patrick Henry coach down on the field. Looks like he might have somebody. So we're going to go our Heather Hunker, travel advisor, mad with Magical Moments Vacation, announcer interview down on the field with Connor Roush. That should be coming up here in moments as he's working it with the Patrick Henry coach. And all right, Connor Roush. Uh, down on the field uh, with the uh, Patrick Henry coach uh, Connor. What do you got for us? Okay, coach, so do you have an update on Lincoln Krieger? Yeah, he to be all right. Uh, just got dinged a little bit, but he'll be good to go. Okay, so your offense is driving down the field pretty good in the first half. What do you like from them? Uh, we need more consistency. We got to finish the drives. Okay, that's what we got to do. But uh, hopefully, we made some adjustments and they'll do it. And then you had offense on uh, Hopewell's offense one drive the first half. They're going to start the second half here with the ball. What does your defense have to do uh, the second half? We got to make some plays when they're throwing the ball right now, and uh, that's going to be the big key. Can we stop some passes they're making? All right, thank you, Coach. Yep. There you have it, 
Connor Roush down on the field with uh, Bill Inselman, head coach of Patrick Henry. And you were listening, you were watching our Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacations announcer interview down there by the far pylon. Great job, Connor, bringing us the details. And you heard it there, Zach. Uh, coach, he was like, uh, we got to be more consistent on offense, although I thought they did pretty good. But then defense, he's like, hey, we got to make some plays. That's exactly uh, what he said down there, and it's not incorrect. Again, the one drive, one score, obviously in the favor of the Chieftains, uh, and that's going to be that's going to be important. Them coming out of the second half, making some plays, driving down the field, and evening this thing back up. Now the Chieftain offense, when they're on the field in the second quarter of play, their only opportunity they had three long distance third down conversions that they were able to bring up, uh, and uh, it. It was Martinez who converted on two of them. Uh, so uh, I'm not sure, is that sustainable? Uh, what do they need to do to clean things up and uh, be a little bit more uh, consistent themselves? Well, again, it, it starts with your offensive line. Uh, they have to continue to play well. Martinez has to continue to run with great vision, uh, and they just have to execute. And I think that's that's the important takeaway here. Uh, you gotta you got to set up your play calling. Um, you got to set up your, your play. Is right. You, you need to set yep. things up in the future so you can run things effectively later on down the line, right? Establish the run game so you can throw the ball a little bit. And uh, those are the, the keys to the second half. Uh, you're listening to Heart of Ohio Sports. Uh, we had our Lee's floor covering keys to the second half here. And uh, one thing I want to add to that, Evan Kreese, uh, we saw him, uh, the quarterback for Hopewell Loudon. Uh, he had a couple of scrambles and one of them was a huge, huge yardage gain. Uh, I'd love to see him uh, run around a little bit more uh, and uh, see if he can put a little more stress or pressure on the Patrick Henry defense. Yeah, we saw it a little bit last week versus the, the Pandora Gilboa Rockets. Uh, that's not the main aspect of his game, but he certainly has it in his bag of tricks so he can break it out and, and, and pick up a big gain mm -hmm. when he needs to. We're about one minute away from the third quarter of play here from Bowling Green. And it's playoff football, Division 7, Region 26. And we're going to go down onto the field. Uh, Connor Roush, uh, he's going to give us a few playoff scoreboard update here. And, of course, those scoreboard uh, updates. Uh, and uh, they're brought to you by Pyramid Recruiting Services. So, Connor, what do you got for us with the playoffs? Let's hold over to the A stream for Colombian versus Buckeye. And that scored is 21 and nothing Colombian at half. And then the Lima Central Catholic Macomb game that will face the winner of this game. It is 31 to 13 Macomb at halftime. There you go. There you have it, uh, Macomb. Uh, it looks like they might be lining themselves up to take on one of these two football teams. And uh, this is a one-score game. And uh, really, anything can happen here in the second half. It's playoffs. All right, now, one thing to keep an eye on. Okay, so uh, we talked about the Hopewell Loudon special teams, and they had a big, big uh, mistake in the first quarter of play uh, as uh, – they dropped the ball, and the Patriots picked it up. Um, that uh, allowed uh, Patrick Henry to kind of dominate the first quarter. Uh, I have to imagine as the temperature continues to drop, getting uh, closer to 40 degrees, and I believe it's 42 degrees here in Bowling Green, as you hear the uh, student section, which is not that far from us, getting into it. Uh, it's uh, important to secure the football. Uh, so here we go. And it's going to be Brickman, Braden Brickman, takes it up to the 44-yard line. Strong return for the Chieftains. And we get our second look, only the second look, at this Hopewell Loudon Chieftain offense tonight. Hopefully they get more opportunities here in the second half. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's going to be important to establish uh, coming out of halftime. You've worked some things. You know what you need to do offensively. And so let's see if the quarterback, Crease can get it done here. Looks like it might be a wildcat formation here. Bunch formation at the top of the screen. Martinez is going to take the snap directly, run it towards that bunch formation and follow his blockers. Strong gain there on first down. Well, maybe you don't even need Crease out of the wildcat. First play out of halftime. 
Martinez that run right off the right side. They were talking about trying to get Crease to th run around a little bit more. Why not just give it to Martinez? But uh, there you go. You see uh, number 10, Evan Crease trotting back out onto the field. And uh, he's going to join Martinez in the backfield. Second and six from the 48-yard line for Hopewell Loudon. They're going to hand it off to Martinez. Flag on the field. Martinez drugged down behind the line. The no gain. We'll take a look here on replay, see what the penalty was came in the from, area of the offensive line. Yeah. So. The right side of that line is where the flag came in. And it might be holding right there on the outside by yep. number three, Crow. And that looks to be exactly what that is. Holding the call on the field against yep. the That's going to push him back. And good eye there, Zach, as uh, what was a good start. Going to be pushed back a little bit. So repeat, second down. But this time, it's going to be second and 16. That was the, the tight end, Wyatt Crow, trying to establish that edge. Just held on a little too much extension as the defender tried to turn back into the play. Crease rolling to his right, looking to pass, got pressure, throws it out of bounds, incomplete. Nowhere to go there, and that's the go-to play that they had in the first half. Uh, we mentioned those third down conversions. That's the play that they ran to get those big conversions. It worked three times in the first half, does not work here in the second half, and we heard the Patrick Henry coach say, uh, they believe in some of the adjustments that they made, and uh, I think that's one of them. Third and 16 for the Chieftains here from the 38-yard line. Long down in distance as they've got to make their way all the way to the 46-yard line of the opposite side of the field here. So Kreese steps up. He's got pressure. He's going to be hit. He's going to be taken down and sacked. Evan Kreese sacked, sacked, nowhere to go, fourth down for the Chieftains. Yeah, Kreese stepped up in the pocket, able to evade pressure for a while, but just nothing going, and great credit to this defensive front, just containing the pocket. Slow start here in the third quarter for the Chieftains as they're now going to be forced to punt the ball back to a deadly Patriots offense. Ball bounces at the 36, continues to roll down inside the 25-yard line, and that's where it'll be marked down at the 23-yard line. So we'll get another look at the Patriots offense, and if there's one thing I can say about this Patriots offense is they, uh, they chewed up a lot of clock in the first half, and uh, that's our first punt of the... Uh, of the day, uh, which is kind of an incredible thing uh, in and of itself. Kind of tells you how good these offenses have been when given the opportunities. So first in 10 from the 23 yard line. And uh, Patriots just taking it right up the gut there. The As you've got Houston Miranda with the carry. Houston, of course, he's been the heavy, the heavy hitter there for the Patriots. Pounds him hard inside and gives uh, Lincoln Krieger the opportunity to do some magic on the outside. All right, second and five from the 28. And it's going to be Krieger right up the middle, puts his shoulder down, first down and more. As he's still working his way up to the 40-yard line. Lincoln Krieger with a huge first down. Patrick Henry gets another first down. Yeah, you run that quarterback keeper out of the trips. Look, spread out the defense, try to get as, as few people in the box as possible. Uh, looked pretty good there. Connor asked... Patrick Henry coach there uh, about uh, the health update and uh, it looked pretty healthy uh, on that run. Yeah, Bill Inselman didn't seem didn't seem worried in any way, shape, or form, and uh, I think he uh, he was on to something. First and ten, Krieger pressure rolls out to his left, 
tucks it and goes. Short gain as he's pushed out of bounds. Another flag as he's hit after he's out of bounds. So this might give Patrick Henry even more yardage. That seems to be exactly what it is. Again, these are the type of mistakes you can't make here in the playoffs. Yeah, you just can't continue to take them down after you're out of bounds. That'll be the third penalty for Hopewell Loudon. And if you're keeping track, Hopewell Loudon, they've got three penalties tonight. Patrick Henry has zero. So Patrick Henry playing a very good, clean game. And uh, these penalties, uh, two so far here in the last two minutes in the third quarter, becoming a little bit of a problem for the Chieftains. First one was an offense, pushed him back 15 yards. This one's on defense, which uh, gave Patrick Henry the extra yardage. Second down and seven. Tackled by Mason Reinhardt. So Patriots, strong gain there on the first down, so it'll bring up second, and they're calling it second and seven on the scoreboard there. And uh, they've got something cooking as they're already past midfield, standing on the 38-yard line, looking to drive in for another touchdown. Krieger fakes it right up the middle. Lincoln Krieger, Short gain. To the 36-yard line, it'll be third down. Out of this drive, they're really utilizing that read option run uh, for Krieger, and he's starting to pull it a little bit more, which has been effective. They're really attacking the interior defensive line of the Chieftains here, and, uh, I mean, why not? Your O-linemen uh, clearly outweigh some of those D-linemen. Third and four from the 35 yard line here. Down to the 724 marker. Krieger keeps it, pushes his way forward. Braden first Krieger down for the Patriots. Line. That'll be another Patriot first down. Braden Brickman with the stop. And as Patriots offense continuing to get the looks that they want so far tonight in this playoff matchup with the Chieftains. All right, Krieger takes the snap, tucks it again, and he's got some space. He's up at the 15-yard line, pushing his way towards the 10-yard line. First down, Patriots, and Lincoln Krieger hit that crease and uh, was able to exploit the Chieftain defense no time at all. Yeah, he bursts that one outside, absorbs all the contact from the first hit. Mm, huge gain. That was off of Brickman. Yeah, huge gain, Lincoln Krieger, as he was able to get around the line and just had open space. First down, Patriots. They're up to the 12-yard line, and we need to see another defensive stop by the Chieftains. Of course, they got an interception just before halftime. Strong defensive stop. Let's see if they can do it here again. Houston Miranda takes the carry, and uh, again, uh, a trend with Patrick Henry. They use Miranda to soften up the defense, and then they give it to Krieger to make something happen, and it's worked out really well tonight. Not a lot of passing for Patrick Henry. Of course, Krieger the recipient of a pass in the first quarter, uh, and uh, he uh, scored a touchdown on that pass. Uh, so uh, let's see what uh, what happens here as uh, Houston Miranda powers his way in for a touchdown. There you have it, Miranda with his second rushing touchdown of the evening, and it is now 20 to seven, Patriots extending their lead. Yeah, we'll take a look. Just an HB dive off the right side. Pulse therapy red zone replay here. And Just a running back following his blockers inside ahead. zone. Easy touchdown. Yep. Uh, Miranda, two touchdowns on the evening. And um, Patriots 
taking control of this playoff game. A uh, two-point conversion again, and it's going to be quarterback keeper. And did he get in? I think he may have been stopped. Yep, he was stopped short, so our score will remain. Patriots 20, Chieftains 7 here in the third quarter of play from Bowling Green. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Let Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacation, take the stress out of booking your next getaway. Specializing in family and group vacations, as well as adults-only trips, Heather can also help you with booking your dream destination wedding. Most trips are planned at no additional cost to you, and you'll have her support both pre-travel and in-destination with every step of the way. Book your next dream getaway now. Heather Hunker, travel advisor with Magical Moments Vacations. Pit Stop convenience stores, you'll always find what you're looking for, and a little more. Their Sunoco gas helps fuel the people who fuel our world, and their fresh in-house made sandwiches will help fuel you through the rest of your workday. With two locations and a convenient drive through on North Washington Street, it's easy to see why everyone has time for a pit stop. You're locked into the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Heart of Ohio Sports. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports here, and uh, let's uh, go down to Connor Roush on the field here real quick. Uh, <laughs> and Connor clearly excited. Uh, he's got his Hopewell out in T-shirt on. I think he's trying to hide it from us right now. Uh, oh, so you're going to expose me. I, see. I am exposing you. Um, all right, Chieftains get the ball. A little return magic here, perhaps, up to the 40-yard line. And... Uh, all right, Connor, Martinez returned it there. Connor, tell us, uh, what do you think the Chieftains got to do to get this drive right and put some points up on the board? They just got to stay consistent with both their passing and rushing. Um, so I interviewed Braden, sorry, Matthew Wyman earlier this week, and he said that with the load carry between Braylon and Blake, uh, it's important to have these other guys involved as well. Yeah, and Wyman uh, had a five-yard TD catch in the second quarter, so uh, uh, people like him uh, got to start stepping up here. So first and 10 from the 40-yard line. Chieftains had to punt the ball away last time, our first punt of the evening. And here you see they're slinging it out. They've got it. Hey, hey there you go. Opening it up, and he's still running. Chieftain first down, and now they're cooking here as Crease, Evan Crease, is able to connect. And look at this beautiful pass and catch. Just as I'm thinking, we need to get Connor a monitor so he knows when he's on camera. Uh, yeah, over the top, just one on one on the outside, goes up and gets it, mosses the defender, and now their hurry up offense, try to put the pressure on this Patrick Henry defense. Patrick Henry with a two score advantage right now. Chieftains want to shrink that lead quickly as Martinez takes the ball and pushes his way up to the 15 yard line. Chieftains, huge gain, just what they needed. And now they're into the red zone here. And that's the kind of uh, kind of playoff plays that you need. Second and five from the 15. Calatrulio having words down there with the official. Uh, Connor, I'm not, I'm not sure if you're able to catch. What are they talking about there? Patrick Henry jumping in the neutral zone. Mm, so Calatrulio trying to get the flag here. Martinez, he's going to take it. We had an early jump, so College really was just trying to get the official to call it. Uh, no call, uh, but uh, yeah, important there. Some of those uh, small details on the sideline that sometimes uh, we miss up here in the, uh, well, we're not in the booth, we're up in the stands. Uh, but uh, 20 to 7, that's the score right now, and uh, the Chieftains looking to put up another touchdown but they've got a big third down conversion here. So far, so good tonight. Chieftains managing really well on third down. Crease, pressure, sacked. Not so good this time. 
Well, Grant Smith there with the sack, and, and Creus couldn't make a decision on where to go with that ball. You could see right there at the end, he saw the pressure on him. He knew he had to get rid of it, but. Fourth and 15, and the offense is still on the field. Fourth and 12 is the exact mark. So still fourth and long, offense on the field. We're under three minutes here in the third quarter. When they had to get it last time, who do they go to? Martinez, who is... Yeah, it looks like there's gonna be a timeout on the field. Calatrulio needs to talk to his players and look at the way he's standing. He's not happy with his offense right now. So timeout on the field uh, and uh, of course, we want to thank your legacy credo, uh, Federal Credit Union, our timeout sponsor during the playoffs, keeping us organized, keeping us straight here. Uh, so, Zach, uh, put your coach's hat on here for a moment. And uh, what do you think uh, Calatrulio is saying to his offense down there? Well, if you're keeping the offense out there, uh, you, you you need to pick it up, right? This is fourth down. You're in enemy territory. Uh, this is a must-have play. And where did you go last time? You went Braylon Martinez. Uh, they booted the quarterback, Crease, out to the right side. I would expect Crease is in motion some kind of way, left or right, uh, once more. And uh, that that's certainly in your game plan. Now, also probably what you're saying is, hey, we might go on too. Hey, we yep. might do a hard count here, so yep. don't jump. So that's something you might yep. want to take a look at also. Another playmaker we haven't heard much from tonight. Been very quiet. Blake Barrier, 6'2 target. Uh, he might be another option. Their wide receiver won all year. Exactly. Uh, so he's at the bottom of the screen. You see Crease pressure. Throws it right in the middle. Touchdown, Chieftains. Braylon Martinez, touchdown, Chieftains, just like that. It is 20 to 13. Now, what did Coach Bill Inselman say earlier in the day when Connor interviewed him? Hey, these are one of the best teams at running screens that they'll face all year. Take a look at this. That pass rush comes, wow. not quite a screen, but Nobody. Martinez just slips out uncovered, and Blown. I don't know how yeah. you let that happen. Lone coverage. Sullivan Cray, number 32, was the closest person in the area, and he was a full 10 yards away when Martinez caught it. PAT's up, and it is good. We're now down to a six-point game, and the Chieftains, they've got new life after a great play call by Coach Calatrulio that put Braylon Martinez in the end zone. I'm Zach Dillon, and you're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. local employers and businesses for over 30 years, Pyramid Recruiting Offices has been operating out of that familiar A-frame building located at 373 North Washington Street since 1988. Call Pyramid Recruiting today at 419-447-0455. Pyramid Recruiting Offices, Tiffin's only locally owned and operated job placement service. UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency, providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your homegrown agent, Sam Shelt Palm, for a professional review today at 419 447 4242, extension 1132. Buckeye IT Services is a trusted partner for cybersecurity, fully managed, and co managed IT support. Municipalities, financial organizations, and mature businesses turn to them to eliminate IT stress and enable growth. Visit BuckeyeIT.com today to start your partnership. It's time for high school football on Heart of Ohio Sports. Welcome back to Heart of Ohio Sports. As you see, Patrick Henry on the return stopped as it was number five, Landon Johnson, with the return. Of course, uh, moments ago, we had our relax and revive touchdown of the quarter as Braylon Martinez snuck out of the backfield, and you're gonna see it right here, snuck out of the backfield, wide open, touchdown, Chieftains, and uh, we've got a football game as it is 20 to 14 here in Bowling Green. Yeah, fourth and 12. <laughs> I gotta have it down, and I don't know how you leave the, the star player of the other team uncovered. Uh, that's a no-no. And you know, Bill Inselman, he said, look, we gotta make plays. Well, they missed on that one. 
And uh, you see the Patriots You've got Miranda right up the middle, nowhere to go as the Chieftains have new life. And that touchdown has invigorated their defense as they have a strong stop. And hopefully they can uh, sustain that. And uh, they had an interception before halftime. Uh, one of those would be really good right now, Zach. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, that would keep this can momentum. Order, can we order that up? That would, that would keep this momentum in the favor of the Chieftains. Connor's got Chieftain colors on. Maybe he can just run out there and snatch it out of the air. <laughs> All right, here we go. A little pitch and catch to Thomas Smith. He's got space. He's going to be upended. And they're going to say he's down as the ball was knocked loose. And Thomas Smith was hit hard, and he's a little slow to get up. It'll bring up third and four for the Patriots as the Chieftain defense laying some wood on that one. Check this out. Is Smith was just cut in half. Boop. Just like that, going nowhere. <laughs> Good to see him get up. <laughs> yeah. Again, late on the ground. You can tell that one stung. Again, this, this temperature is creeping down. I'm sure they feel it a little better, you know, keeping it active, staying moving, but well under uh, uh, 40 degrees. And so officially, uh, our uh, Klaus Electric weather report, it is now 43 degrees from Bowling Green. So it's uh, dropped 10 degrees so far tonight during this football game. Well under 40 degrees if you're sitting here on these metal seats. These metal seats are very cold. Uh, I cannot feel my feet, to be honest with you. Uh, again, uh, we, are, uh, we are here in Bowling Green, so you do not have to be. And uh, we've got so much press at this football game. Uh, they stationed us in the stands, so we are right in the middle of Chieftain Country here. Uh, and we've got fans all around us, and they've got a table that is strapped down to the bleachers. But we're making it work. Ooh, look at that catch, and it's knocked free. Landon Johnson caught it. Now they're saying he did not catch it. Chieftain's unhappy with that as, as Johnson had it in his hands. He was hit. It got knocked away. They're saying it's incomplete. Let's take a look at this replay. Yeah, instant replay here. Again, blanket coverage on the outside. I don't know. It looked like he took a couple steps with that football. Yeah, the, the conversation are, might be justified here between yeah, the officials. Fans are unhappy. The officials are talking there on the field. And uh, they're saying, was it, are they saying it was a catch now? They're saying it's a catch and, and the, the ground oh caused the fumble. We'll take a look at it one more time. Yeah, let's, t uh, Coach Calatrillo not happy at all. He needs an explanation. Let's take another look at this replay. So they're saying that Landon Johnson caught the ball and that the ground caused the fumble. Uh, we, we don't have the best angle, but it's definitely possible. So instead of an incomplete pass, which was the original call, now it's a completed pass, and it is first and 10 from the 30-yard line. And uh, now you have flags on the field, false start. So that might ease the tension here because things are starting to get hostile on Chieftain's side of the, of the field. Well, you went through all three emotions, right? You went turnover. Great. You went, oh, no, that's just an incomplete pass. What a shame. And then it's a it's completed, completed pass 20 yards down the field, and, and you can understand the frustration. <laughs> Next thing you know, uh, they're, uh, they're throwing stuff. And, uh, <laughs> I haven't seen throwing and, and, and we're stuck in the middle. Speaking of throwing stuff, we've got some T-shirts here that we need to throw out to the fans. Um, yeah, we're, I think we, we've got good people next to us. We might just uh, hand it to them here. Um, so, yeah, we've... And there you go. The Chieftains, a huge stop on that one. Yeah, we got to find those Heart of Ohio T-shirts where we've got the bleacher creatures uh, featured on it. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. we got a couple of these uh, that we need to give out. These are some really nice T-shirts that, uh, that Nate's given us. So we, we need to start handing these out to the, uh, the fans. And, uh, that's, that's what I think we have, we have Connor doing is we have a timeout here. That's what I think we have Connor do. We'll, we'll give him <laughs> these bundles of T-shirts and, and have him throw people T-shirts from the right. stands. We need, we need a cannon is what we actually need. All right, so. Uh, the CO2 powered. Connor's nodding his head. 
third quarter has ended here in Bowling Green, uh, and it is 20 to 14. Patrick Henry with the lead, and they are driving after a controversial reversal of uh, of their opinion. Uh, and this is the play that got people upset here in the stands, uh, where uh, Landon Johnson he caught it, he lost it. Originally, it was incomplete. The officials, they got together, they talked a little bit. They said it's actually a completed pass, and that's allowed the Patriots to be right where they're at right now at the 35-yard line. Yeah, you can see the ball absolutely come out at the very end. And so, again, it happened away from the camera. Um, so, plausible, the, the officials have a better view than we do. All right, passing play, and it's going to be Smith. He's got some space inside the 10. He's still going. Touchdown, Patrick Henry. As Thomas Smith weaves through the Chieftain defense and puts up a score. And that took all of the life out of, out of this Hopewell Loudon sideline. We'll take a look at it here. Over the middle, number one, Thomas Smith. Making plays after the catch, you see he shakes off one defender, cuts it across field, another broken tackle there. Great yards after catch, make this two score game. Thomas Smith with a huge 35 yard touchdown catch and run, and he's helped extend the Patriot lead. It's now 26 to 14. And they're going for a two-point conversion. They are one of three tonight on two-point conversions. So uh, I'm going to toss it. It's going to be knocked away, incomplete, make that one of four on the night. So it will be 26-14 Patriots with a two-score lead. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Stop down to Bench Warmers in Tiffin or call it in for delivery. Fresh cut fries, locally sourced ingredients, and phenomenal service. Give the Tiffin store a call at 567 268 9268 and place your delivery order now. Bench Warmers Restaurant and Delivery. We connect fans to the action like no one else can. As a business in today's market, you got to stay ahead of the game. And what better way than to get on board with the fastest growing brand in media today? I mean, you can take it from me, or you can just listen to them. When recruiters want to see our game film, we tell them they can watch on Heart of Ohio Sports. Keep it locked in. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Uh, you're watching Heart of Ohio Sports, and here in Bowling Green, Ohio, Patrick Henry just increased their lead. It is now 26 to 14 after a huge 35 yard pitch and catch to Thomas Smith. And uh, Patriots have taken back a two score lead and uh, kind of controlling things here as Martinez takes it up to the 40 yard line. And they're saying that he fumbled the ball. But uh, let's see what the officials have to say. They change their mind from time to time. So yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get together. They're gonna talk about it a little bit. And one official saying that uh, the turf caused it. We've heard that one before as well. Martinez, yep, uh, taken down, and yeah, I think he was down there. So Hopewell, loud, and they're going to hold on to the ball, and offense going to come out on the 40, and they've got a little work to do. So they've got just under 12 minutes to play here in tonight's playoff contest, and they've got to put up two scores to make this uh, a real football game. Yeah, if you're looking for the silver lining, that last touchdown happened right at long ball. 
Oh, oh my, just missed it. Number 11, Blake Barrier, unable to bring it in. And we had talked about him in third quarter as being a potential breakout artist uh, because uh, Chieftains need people to step up, and he was not able to grab this one. Yeah, this is stop and go around on the outside. Like I was saying, that, that last score happened right at the start of the fourth quarter, so you certainly have time, and man, that would have mm. done it there. Yeah, that's a good one there. That would have been uh, great for the Chieftains, and they had a huge gain on their last drive that led to some points, uh, hoping to strike twice here. So look for them to air it out just a little bit as Kreese rolls to his right, slings it again, unable to connect, and it was Jack Calatrulio, the intended receiver. Calatrulio falls incomplete, third down. So third and 10, uh, and uh, yeah, two incomplete passes just like that, and uh, they've gone nowhere. They've got a 12-point uh, deficit right now, and uh, they've, got a, they've got a convert here on third down, and uh, last time they had a third down, Kreese was sacked for a huge loss. So let's see what happens here as Kreese has got pressure, rolls to his right, more pressure. He's going to be hit as he throws. Barrier, the intended receiver, incomplete, fourth down. Punt team comes on here. Kreese nope. did a nope. good... Kreese did a good job trying to make something happen. That ball just kind of sailed on him. Now your defense really has to step up. And the Chieftain defense, they've had their moments, but uh, for the most part, the bigger, more physical Patriots offense is uh, kind of taking care of business tonight. Ball looks like it's going to settle inside the 30-yard line, and that's where Patrick Henry is going to come back out again for another offensive possession. And uh, Patrick Henry, one thing that they have done really well is burning a lot of time off the clock as their offensive possessions have just uh, drug on and on. I think the lone exception would have been Thomas Smith's uh, huge touchdown catch on that last drive, where that was kind of a big strike play. Otherwise, they take it a chunk at a time. Well, they do a great job utilizing the space in between the hash marks, uh, throwing over the middle, running up the gut, and uh, this defense really needs to make a stop. Going to rush the ball, and it's Miranda who gets a first down on that carry. Once again, I mean, this play starts right up the middle. Great vision here from the running back, Miranda. Bounced off a defender and just kept working forward for the first down. Under 11 minutes now. And you can see the Patriots taking their time trying to burn as much of that play clock as possible. They still got 14 seconds on the play clock. And they're just now coming up to the line. Now with 10 seconds, four, three, and they snap it. Miranda again, left side, pushed back this time. So the Patriots used almost every single second of that 40 second play clock. And we're down to 10.23 now here in the fourth quarter. And that's what they're going to continue to do. They're going to keep this ball on the ground. Miranda, Krieger are going to get their fair share from this drive, I'm certain. And uh, it's important to take a look. So Patrick Henry has three timeouts left. Hope Loudon only has two timeouts left. So something to keep in mind as we get down further into the fourth quarter. And incomplete pass. It was Trent Johnson, the intended receiver. Bounced off his hands, and that'll bring up third and long for the Patriots. Yeah, exactly. Bounced off his hands. Good ball from Krieger. Placement-wise, maybe a little too far in front, but certainly catchable.
Again, Patrick Henry taking their time coming up the, to the line there, trying to use as much of this clock as they possibly can, holding on to a 12-point lead, trying to add on to it more on this one. And it's Miranda, another rush off to the right side, nowhere to go, and that'll bring up fourth and nine for the Patriots. Remember, there's only been one punt so far tonight, and that was uh, the Chieftains, uh, two punts, and uh, Patriots look like they're gonna add to that total here on this one. On the punt for the Patriots, George Delgado. Yeah, this will be the Patriots' first punt of the night. Blake Barrier awaits his punt. Delgado, the senior lineman, is their punter. And, uh, woof, look at that. Boom, and it's on the turf. And the Chieftains pick it back up. That one was a line drive right Man. at Man. Barrier. It was coming at him hot. He hit him at the chest like a fastball. <laughs> yeah, not, not a whole lot you can do on that one. Uh, <laughs> it's just uh, he had no choice but to catch it. So that was a great stop from your defense. They stood up. Now your offense has to go down the field. And uh, that's a pit stop. We've had one turnover here, pit stop turnover, and that was in the uh, second quarter where the Chieftains got an interception. We want to make sure we thank the pit stop for their continued playoff support. And uh, looks like a short gain for the Chieftains is uh, they got to pick up some steam here as we're now at 8.40, 8.40 left in tonight's game. And they got to start putting some points up. Patrick Henry been playing really good team defense, rallying everybody to the football. And that's how they're able to stop Martinez from getting these cutbacks. Crease, pressure behind him, throws it, barrier. Hit hard, incomplete. And when you know it, number two, Lincoln Krieger, he's the ball hawk on that one. They could have been a little bit more accurate there uh, from Crease, but again, he'll tell you himself, Blake Barrier needs to catch that ball. And Barrier's been targeted a few times here in the second half. Uh, has not recorded a, uh, a reception yet tonight. So third and nine from the 28-yard line here for the Chieftains. Uh, they need to convert. They've been unsuccessful the last couple of times on these third downs. So this is a big one as Martinez rolls to his right. Crease, flag on the field here. Crease throws it, and I think it was out of bounds when Landon Johnson got his hands on it. So our Steinmetz signs and graphic ink flag on the play. We're going to go down on the field and see what this one's about. Officials uh, got to talk about it. Uh, Connor, uh, you're down there on the field close to the action. Uh, did you see anything that might give you an idea of what that flag was about? Uh, my only idea is Braylon with illegal motion, but I don't know. There you go. Yeah. He called it. It's going to be declined, so it'll be fourth down. And Hopewell Loudon's going to be forced to kick the ball away. And what started off as a... Uh, Offense is kind of doing everything. No punts at all in the first half. And we're getting a whole bunch of them here in the second half. And that punt's going to bounce around the 40-yard line and settle in around the 36. So Patriots are going to come back out. And um, that's where we're going to see their offense again. Of course, I uh, fully expect to see a heavy dose of number 21 when uh, Patrick Henry takes the field. Been all Patriots so far tonight as they've got a 26-14 lead. 
They were able to put up two touchdowns in the first quarter, uh, compliments of a turnover on special teams. Uh, Hopewell Loudon coughed it up, and the Patriots took advantage, and uh, then uh, made it interesting in the second quarter as Hopewell Loudon put up some points, but uh, a huge 35-yard touchdown by Thomas Smith here in the second half helped extend the Patriots' lead to 26-14, and that's kind of where we stand as the officials down on the field have been talking for a while now, trying to figure out what to do, and uh, I'm not sure what they're... They're asking them to shut the play clock off. Okay. So they want the play clock turned off, and so it seems like it's a scoreboard issue here at the stadium that uh, the officials are trying to get sorted out. So, Connor, uh, what, are you, what are you hearing or what are you seeing down there? Well, one thing I noticed is the play clock on my end has been freezing up and not working. So. Okay. All right. So that might be an issue that uh, they're trying to remedy right now. Uh, so they're turning the play clock off and uh, hoping uh, that they are turning it back on as we're kind of uh, in a holding pattern right now. So I guess the, the play clocks right now are off. They have not turned them back on. Uh, and Patrick Henry's getting ready to play some football. So here we go. Houston Miranda up the middle. And uh, that'll bring up second down for the Patriots. Aiden Ewald the first to get there. Stop him for a short loss, 7.45. Again, now the referee will give that 10-second count off when the play clock clocks down. So the Patriots have an idea of how much time they have. And Patrick Henry, uh, they've routinely taken it all the way down to the end of that play clock, so that's an important thing to note. Miranda again up the middle. Another carry is uh, Patriots. They're content with burning as much clock as possible. Getting close to that seven-minute marker now. Fourth quarter of play from Bowling Green, Ohio. Patrick Henry, 26-14 lead over Hopewell Loudon. Hopewell Loudon, uh, had an, they've had an undefeated season so far. Uh, and uh, there's still some time, and they're hoping to keep that undefeated streak going. But uh, it's getting a little, bit diff a little bit more difficult with every second that goes off the clock. Patriots looking to pass, sling it, incomplete, fourth down. Well, they force a third and out again, which credit to this defense I mean they they weren't able to get these kind of stops early on but now they're really stepping up so the offense now like we've been saying they need to get something going and I don't know how it is I, I don't know what exactly they need to do maybe that's get crease in motion more maybe it's spread this defense out and, and try to get uh, your athletes involved like Blake Barry or, 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 or Matthew Wyman or Kyle Trulio uh, Everything that's happened tonight that's worked out well, Martinez has kind of been at the heart of it, rushing it, catching it. Uh, so uh, flag on the field there. Steinmetz sign, graphic ink, flag on the field. Uh, it's going to push Patrick Henry back. That's their first penalty of the evening. So we're going to... The false start. Again, this, this kicker has a leg like we've seen. That was the second line drive that's right at uh, Barrier, who's deep to return. So, Going to kick it again here. Yeah, it's uh, big number 62. And with that ball getting on him in a hurry, Barrier trying to think if he can get this ball to at least the 50. This one a little bit okay. of a floater. Going to bounce inside the 30. Barrier is going to pick it up, and he's going to take it up to the 40, walk out of bounds, and that's where the offense will, will take over. All right, Zach, gut check time. Chieftains need a score. No other way to look at it here. They have to put seven points on the board. 
and uh, then hope that they can get the ball back. There's only six minutes and 19 seconds left in tonight's game, and you need two scores. You, yeah, just, you air it out? Well, you go down the field now. You need your defense to get a, a three and out or turnover, something quick, and then you have the ball back. All right, Brickman's in the backfield, so Kreese is throwing it all the way. Barrier, the receiver, incomplete as he overthrows his intended receiver. Good coverage there. Yeah, they have just not been on the same page. Barrier, he's been thrown to, I think, five times now tonight and has not caught a ball yet. Uh, and uh, they've gone deep a couple of times here in the second half. And uh, Barrier just... You know, you've seen a little frustration creep out from time to time with him, and uh, he's just not able to bring it in. Well, again, there were some concentration jobs, but then when, when barriers open, there have been some slight misses on the part of Crease, so they just can't get on the same page at the same time. Pressure. Gets it to Martinez. He's got a little space to work with, but he's going to be drugged down to the ground by Landon Johnson, and he's still pushing his way forward. And there's a flag as they pushed him after he was out of bounds. And Calatrulio, you can see him immediately going to the official, demanding that the Steinmetz flag is thrown. Yeah, personal foul, that late hit out of bounds. And take a look at this. Martinez stays on his feet. Look at how many people around them pushing him either which way. And you see they just Exactly what happened on the opposite does not side. Give up, yeah. It, it, it's exactly what happened on the other side uh, when Krieger. Uh, there's that contact yeah. taking him out of bounds. That's okay, but then finishing uh, after you're already out of bounds is where the problem is. Second penalty of the half for Patrick Henry, and it's a big one as it helps Hopewell Loudon pick up not just the first down but a bunch of yardage. They're now to the 37-yard line. Crease. Slings it. There you go. Barrier with the catch. Blake Barrier picking up his first catch here. And that could be a sign of good things to come. Absolutely. That's confidence on the outside. Nice body control on the sidelines. He recognizes where he's at. He's able to keep his feet inbound. And take a look. That big chunk play for Martinez, it was the screen game. And that's yep. something that, that head coach Inselman talked about, about this being a strength of the Chieftains. Martinez getting a handoff and hit behind the line of scrimmage for a loss on the play. So Barrier got an eight-yard gain, which brought up second and two. And Martinez now being pushed backwards, and it's now third and three. Third and three from the 30-yard line. And again, another big third down conversion that the Chieftains need. Well, I mean, you're obviously in four, four down territory here. 5.20 left in the contest tonight. Two-score lead for the Patriots. Crease throws it. Incomplete. Matthew Wyman, the intended receiver, no good. Fourth down and three. These defensive backs for Patrick Henry have been playing phenomenally well tonight. Uh, I want to highlight senior Thomas Smith, who had Wyman on the outside um, and just was giving him nothing. Great press coverage up front. Worked him all the way out of bounds. And uh, again, if, if you, right here at the bottom of your screen, you have him again, it's Evan Alrich. I mean, there's man coverage all the way here. Crease, pressure, dumps it off to Martinez. Martinez right up the middle. First down, Chieftains. Everything that happens that's good begins with number six. Braylon Martinez putting the Chieftains offense on his shoulders. A huge first down play. And now they're up to the 17-yard line. Crease throws it in the corner of the end zone. Did he get it? Incomplete. A great defense, and you were praising those defensive backs. There's another example of that strong defense by the Patriots. Yeah, dangerous throw one-on-one. -on -one. You loft that ball up there. You know there's good coverage. Uh, that was was that that was uh, Reed Krieger yeah, out like there Reed, on the outside. The freshman. Um, and and this is a 
an important time to say you can't force it, right? You're in the red zone. You can't make a mistake here. So Second. take your time. You can execute. Second and ten. Rolling to his right. Pressure. Did he get it? Barrier. Wow. He caught it. Barrier. Two for two on this drive. Well, two for two here recently. Back-to-back -back catches for him. And uh, that's another great pickup of about nine yards. So third and one. The clock continues to move even though he was pushed out of bounds and the fans are unhappy about that fact. Yeah, that's absolutely a mistake there. Martinez stopped not enough for the first down. Fourth down is coming. The clock is still moving. 4.09, 4.08 left in tonight's contest. The Chieftains, again, they they were, were screwed out of some time there. And they had a play clock trouble earlier on this drive. They had to turn them off, 3.48, and the officials uh, are going to get together, and you can see the Patrick Henry coach irate over there. I think it's a timeout on the field, so timeout Patrick Henry. Uh, and uh, that's their first of this half, so they've got two more. Uh, Hopewell Loudon also has two timeouts, uh, and it's crunch time. Fourth and two coming up here, and clearly uh, Coach Bill Inselman saw something on the defensive side that he did not like. We're still here. <laughs> We're still here. 348. Timeout on the field. Fourth and two coming up here. And Hopewell Loudon, they're at the nine yard line. Crease steps up. He's going to be drugged to the ground. Ball is on the ground. Patrick Henry says they've got it. It's going to be Patrick Henry football. A increase succumbs to the pressure there from the edge. I think he, he recognized that he needed to step up and try to pick up that first down himself right there on the edge, both sides, and just ran into a defender. Yep. And that's uh, that tells you a lot right there. Uh, so now... It, if you're the Chieftains, you're playing the turnover game. You're, you're going for the football. You're doing it as aggressively as possible. And uh, Chieftains have two timeouts. Might need to start using them here soon. And you see a few uh, Chieftain fans starting to walk away, unhappy with the turn of events there. Miranda right up the middle. We're uh, under, we're at 327. We'll go to the replay one more time. And yeah, you see there both edge rushers getting pressure there. I think uh, Trent Johnson on the outside. Is where a lot of that, that difficult <laughs> difficulties come from. Uh, As we have a, a stop here at the line of scrimmage, but the clock continues to move and right, timeout so taken. So there's a timeout on the field there. We're at 2.48 left in tonight's contest. Patrick Henry with a 26-14 lead over Hopewell Loudon. Patrick Henry has the football. And you see on your screen there, we've got a replay as uh, we've got a we get a battery update here for our camera. Uh, so uh, Connor 
let me go down to you, Connor, and uh, talk to me. Uh, what are you th What are you hearing from the Hopewell out in sideline? What do you think their defense needs to do to get the ball back for the offense? They just got to attack the ball very aggressively to do what they have to do to get that ball back. Uh, what was it like down there on the field uh, with that big fourth down play? Uh, what were you hearing? Uh, I mean, obviously up here in the stands, fans were a little disappointed that they weren't able to get it. Just a broken up play, and Patrick Henry's defense got to Evan there. Okay. So timeout on the field. Uh, again, 248 left in the in the uh, football game. Uh, make sure you stay tuned. We've got our UIS insurance and investment post game show coming up uh, where we will uh, take a look at a player of the game, of course, co-sponsored by Placinite 3D Printing and Design, as well as Little Hugo's Ice Cream. So we'll have our player of the game coming up in about three minutes. And uh, we'll also take a look around at some of the uh, local playoff games. Uh, we'll have to check in on the Macomb LCC game. Of course, the winner of tonight's contest will take on the winner of the LCC Macomb game. Macomb was in the lead last we checked at halftime. As you see, Patrick Henry just trying to burn as much clock as possible. Fourth down. And I believe timeout for Hopewell Loudon. They've got one more timeout to use. We're at the 240 marker. Okay, so this becomes strategic. So Coach Zach, <laughs> talk to me here. Uh, if you're Coach Calatrulio, uh, what kind of things are you hoping for? What kind of things are you going to try to do here? Uh, because uh, you need to put two scores up on the board. Yeah, well, there's really only one option uh, if you're going to win this game, and that is uh, a, as quick as a score as possible. And then depending on where you're at, uh, well, not even depending on where you're at, you, you need to execute an onside kick. And, and so this punt here is going to be important. Again, you have no timeouts remaining, so you, you need to get the ball back via onside kick or, or hope for some kind of miracle fumble or something and 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 that's how you that's the only way it's the only way to go about it uh, at least you have an opportunity but first things first get a stop get the ball uh and uh score the ball all right so barrier right at 45 Gets away from a couple tacklers. Inside the 40, pushed out of bounds. Strong return. Blake Barrier. All right. Step one, check, Zach. They got the ball. Step one, get the ball back. They got the check. ball back. Check. Now, Offense has got it now. Now. Step two. Step two. Ray Martinez. Well, it, it, it's convert <laughs> and drive down the field. you got to <laughs> utilize the sidelines. The time. It's important, but you need the onside kick regardless. So, yeah. you know, a minute comes off the clock. It's not the end of the world. Okay. All right. So, uh, Braden Brickman, he's in the backfield with uh, Evan Kreese. And you've got Martinez right in the middle. Pressure thrown to Martinez right around the first down marker. And is it enough for a first down is the question. I think he's just short. So completion to Martinez. We're now at 210, 209. Here in the football game, Kreese rolls to his right, looking to pass the ball. Intercepted. That's your ball game. Yep. Interception by Patrick Henry. And uh, Trent Johnson seals the deal. That's your pit stop turnover of the game as Trent Johnson, uh, I think, just wrapped up a victory for the Patriots. Yeah, Trent Johnson stopped that big fourth down conversion in the red zone. And again, just nowhere to go with the football. Great coverage from that defense is the away team fans start to file out.
Trent Johnson with a key interception at the 157 marker here in the fourth quarter. And the victory formation is on the field for Patrick Henry as they're going to kneel the ball down and salt away the clock and walk away with a 26-14 victory over the formerly undefeated Hopewell out in Chieftains. This will mark the first loss of the season for what has been a phenomenal year for the Chieftains. Yes, yeah, stick around halftime. Connor Rausch will have the player of the game interview. And, and we'll discuss and recap not only just this game, but, but the last few games that we've covered here and uh, this Chieftain season as it comes to an end. Of course, we got our UIS Insurance and Investments post game show coming up that will. Uh, wrap up all of that great stuff Zach was just talking about uh, and uh, Placinite 3D printing and design as well as Little Hugo's our co-sponsors for the player of the game and we'll bestow upon them a uh, blessed treasure that everybody wants Placinite 3D trophy so we're down to 40 40 minutes left in tonight's contest and with that kneel, That's going to be the final that should be it. Your final so, so uh, from Bowling Green, Patrick Henry comes away with a 26 to 14 victory over Hopewell Loudon. We'll be back. Hey, it's your boys, Dominic and Connor, and, and we're chilling, chilling with Zach Dillon here on Heart of Ohio, Ohio Sports. Placenite where imagination meets innovation. Unleash your creativity with precision 3D printing. Your ideas, our expertise. Placenite, your 3D printing partner. At Heart of Ohio Sports, it's obvious. The first thing that comes to mind is sports. But we do a lot more than just cover live sporting events. When we want to watch our highlights from last night's game, there's only one place we go, Heart of Ohio Sports. Heart of Ohio Sports gives fans the access they want when they want it. And the athletes get the coverage they deserve. Our broadcasts are free and they always will be. We don't hide behind a paywall. When my family can't come to the games, they always watch on Heart of Ohio Sports. I'm Zach Dillon, and you're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. I'm Zach Dillon, and you're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Serving local employers and businesses for over 30 years, Pyramid Recruiting Offices has been operating out of that familiar A-frame building located at 373 North Washington Street since 1988. Call Pyramid Recruiting today at 419-447-0455. Pyramid Recruiting Offices, Tiffin's only locally owned and operated job placement service. UIS Insurance and Investments, your hometown agency, providing a full range of insurance and financial services with a local touch. Contact your homegrown agent, Sam Shelt Palm, for a professional review today at 419-447-4242, extension 1132. Buckeye IT Services is a trusted partner for cybersecurity, fully managed, and co-managed IT support. Municipalities, financial organizations, and mature businesses turn to them to eliminate IT stress and enable growth. Visit BuckeyeIT.com today to start your partnership. It's time for high school football on Heart of Ohio Sports.
Oh, welcome back to our UIS Insurance and Investments post-game show here from Bobcat Stadium in Bowling Green, Ohio. Uh, we are uh, getting ready to uh, find our player of the game. Again, our player of the game brought to you by Placenite's 3D printing and design, as well as Little Hugo's ice cream. Uh, and uh, we've got Connor Rausch. He is down on the field as he's starting to walk up uh, toward the 20 yard line. And Connor Rausch has our player of the game, uh, Lincoln Krieger. All right, so let's go down onto the field and Connor Rausch, uh, take it away. All right, Lincoln, you guys played an incredible game today. It obviously showed that your dual versatility was a struggle for the Chiefs. And so can you just explain to me what the offense was like for you tonight? Yes, sir. Um, I mean, it's, it all goes out to my line. I mean, we had one, a few guys battling an uh, injury, and they just fought through it. I mean, more than I did tonight, and um, their support helped me to get through that tonight. Now, what was it like with the defense tonight to be able to shut down the Chiefs' offense for them being so explosive this year? Yeah, I mean, um, I, I don't really know what we did special. We just kind of played our football, and I, I mean, it just turned out how it did. So what, uh, what else stood out to you tonight for you guys, just to have the success you had? Because it seemed like the momentum stayed with you guys. You guys stayed cool, calm, and it was just playing your game. Yes, sir. Um, I want to be honest. Um, God has really brought this team together. And uh, at the beginning of the year, we just wanted, we were working hard in the weight room. And he's just kind of binded us together. I've seen it in everybody, and he's blessed me with Nash's injury to help lead the team, and he's kept us together. So all thanks to him. Now, what does this mean uh, for Nash? You guys playing like this to keep continuing in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, I hope it makes him happy because I know he wishes he could be out there with us. And I know it's, I mean, I don't know, but I, I could assume it's tough being uh, out your whole senior year doing injuries. So. so for you being player of the game, here is a trophy from us. And uh, you played great. You got McComb next week, so it'll be a tough battle for you. But good luck uh, the rest of the postseason. Thank you. There you have it. Kind of roused down on the field with our Placenite 3D printing and Little Hugo's Ice Cream Player of the Game. We'll be right back and we'll continue our UIS Insurance post-game show. Don't go anywhere, you're watching Heart of Ohio Sports. Heart of Ohio Sports gives fans the access they want when they want it. And the athletes get the coverage they deserve. Our broadcasts are free and they always will be. We don't hide behind a paywall. When my family can't come to the games, they always watch on Heart of Ohio Sports. Experience the ultimate luxury treatment at Relax and Revive Salon and Spa. At Tiffin's largest salon and spa, we offer a full array of services to help you look and feel your best. From hair and nails to massages and skin care, we also accommodate groups and are the perfect place for bridal parties, girl days, and even date night. Everyone needs a little R&R. &R. Enjoy some self-care at Relax and Revive Salon and Spa. Keep it locked in. You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports.
You're watching Heart of Ohio Sports, our UIS insurance post-game show, and you can see down there on the field uh, what uh, was uh, an amazing season Amen. as the Hopewell Out and Chieftains had a 12 in O record coming into tonight, uh, and you can see a lot of emotion down there uh, as uh, they ran into a very tough Patrick Henry football team and uh, picked up their first loss here in the third round of the playoffs. Uh, 26 to 14 was the final score as Patrick Henry uh, took the victory and will move on and play Macomb next week. Uh, and uh, Connor down there on the field uh, talking to uh, a lot of the players and checking in with them. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just a um, uh, heartbreaking end to the season, what was a really great season uh, for uh, uh, for the Chieftains here. And, uh, Zach, I mean, uh, when you're thinking about Chieftains football, we've uh, had a chance to cover them a few weeks here in a row. Uh, it's uh, – and not really the way you wanted it to end. Not the way you wanted it to end, absolutely. And you see this is an emotional time, right? A lot of these kids, uh, you know, the, the numbers say a lot of these kids aren't playing football again, uh, these seniors. And so it is important to take some time and uh, and just acknowledge uh, all the hard work that they've put in all these years. And, Connor, uh, you know, you're from the community. Uh, you've talked to a lot of these kids. You know a lot of these kids. Uh, what is it like down on the field right now? I mean, the year that they were able to pull off. <laughs> you guys got me? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so the year that they were able to play was just tremendous. And we knew coming into this postseason that Region 26 was just stacked with talent. So getting to this point, you knew that you had to play your perfect game. And it was a little rough tonight for, for Hopewell. As we've seen, Patrick Henry just, they played their game and it just uh, moved over. And Hopewell had some of their struggles there. But each this, this team should keep their head up and proud for what they did. I mean, Evan... Evan Braylon and Blake all pretty much played all Ohio uh, stats this year. So, yes, tough ending, but you made it to the regional semifinals, and you should be proud of yourselves. Absolutely. And, Dom, you have the numbers of the seniors yeah, here. We, we've got number seven, Adam Kreese. Uh, number 10, Evan Kreese. Number 11, Blake Barrier. Uh, we've got uh, number 50, number 55, Noah Kubitz. Uh, we've got number 61, Aiden Fentro. And then we've got number 66, David Green. Those are your Chieftain seniors uh, who are out there tonight. And uh, for some of them, could be the last, you know, competitive football game that they, that they play. So definitely a, a difficult, difficult time here. Uh, but... Uh, you know, that's uh, part of the beauty of the game, I guess, is uh, you win some, you lose some. And uh, Patrick Henry, uh, they were able to walk away and, uh, and win one. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, with uh, Hopewell Loudon uh, falling tonight, uh, this is probably our last game of the football season here at Heart of Ohio Sports on the extreme. Uh, so, uh, I mean, we've had uh, uh, such a great time. Uh, you know, uh, Connor's been, uh, we've been together two years now. Uh, Zach, Connor, uh, and, uh, and myself. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. It's been real, bro. It's been <laughs> real. Yeah, I, again, it was phenomenal season calling with you uh, and uh, looking forward to what's ahead. Uh, no question, no question. Now, of course, uh, it looks like uh, Colombian taking care of business on the A stream. Uh, so uh, they may have another week of, uh, of football uh, ahead of them, which is uh, great news. So you can still tune in. Uh, and you can, of course, you can catch us here at Heart of Ohio Sports by going to heartofohiosports.com. Uh, go to our Twitch, our YouTube, uh, punch in the uh, A stream or the X stream because we know you want to relive all the adventures that we've had this year. Or you can also find us on Facebook uh, and, uh, again, Heart of Ohio ohiosports.com uh, uh, and then Instagram. Do not forget about Instagram. We are all over uh, social media there. Uh, so uh, I think it's come down to this uh, parting shots. Uh, so uh, 
Zach, uh, what's your parting shot for uh, for tonight? Well, I would like to first thank uh, all the listeners uh, for for supporting us. We'd like to thank everybody here back at Heart of Ohio, oh, Heart of Ohio Sports, everybody that's making these things happen every week. Uh, we'd like to thank all of the uh, athletic districts that have hosted us, that have been so gracious. We've had great relationships, and we'd like to thank, obviously, uh, the players and coaches and everybody involved in, in making these games happen. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, th- the extra time and attention that the coaches are willing to offer the media and uh, spend with us just talking football, uh, talking about their teams, uh, we could not be any more thankful uh, for each and every one of them. Uh, so um, uh, we just want to we want to say uh, thank you, uh, everybody here from uh, Heart of Ohio Sports. Uh, and, uh, you know, for Zach Dillon, Connor Rausch, and uh, Zachy B over here, um, uh, I'm Dominic Helmstetter. Thank you very much for tuning in this season, and we'll catch you again next year here at Heart of Ohio Sports.